Today I'd like to show you how to cook moussaka. So allow me to introduce you to the ingredients. We have 500 grams of lamb mince, previously frozen, two potatoes peeled and sliced, one aubergine diced, 600 millilitres of milk, one tin of tomatoes, 400 millilitres, one diced red onion, one previously frozen cube of garlic, half a teaspoon of salt and pepper, one and a quarter cup of white wine, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of mint, one teaspoon of oregano, three bay leaves, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, 75 grams of flour, and 75 grams of butter. So let's get started. We are going to need a few pieces of equipment in order to cook the moussaka amongst using the pressure cookers. So I'll show you what we need. This is a spring form pan. This is going to allow us to layer the dish and then if we need to, we can remove the bottom or if you wish to, you can place it down on a plate or into an oven proof dish, like so. With this, we're going to be using the sling. This is a silicon sling. And placing that on the sling, it allows you to just lower into the pressure cooker and lift up out of the pressure cooker. For the potatoes, we're going to want a steamer and a trivet. This will allow us to place the steamer on top of the trivet and we can cook the potatoes at the same time as we cook the meat sauce. Amongst other things, we're going to want spatulas, maybe some spoons and maybe a serving scoop. However, these are essentially the main parts that we're going to need. So we're going to be using two pressure cookers side by side. There are two options with this. You can use one pressure cooker and just wait for each stage, wash the pan, place everything into a bowl and then go to the next stage. Or alternatively, for the sauce, you can use a second pressure cooker for the sauce whilst the meat sauce is cooking. That way you can do the bechamel in one and you can do the meat sauce in another. It's entirely optional, but this just helps speed up the process if you wish to do so. The first thing we want to do is set the pressure cooker to brown saute start, as this will allow the frying to begin. We also just want to add maybe half a tablespoon of olive oil. And now we're just waiting for the temperature to come to approximately halfway where we can begin the frying. We're going to be doing this in three parts. First of all, we're going to fry the aubergines and place them to one side. Secondly, we'll be doing the meat sauce. Then thirdly, we'll be doing the bechamel. And at the end, we're going to combine into the springform pan and cook. So now the pan's up to over halfway temperature, we can add the aubergine. We just want to give that a good stir to allow it to mix and coat with the oil. The reason for dicing the aubergine is that it will cook far quicker than if we have slices because of the amount of room in a pan slices take up. We can simply dice to create the same effect, but much more quickly. We now want to just wash the bowl, ready for the cooked aubergine. Stir it regularly to make sure that the aubergine doesn't burn. Now that the aubergine is slightly toasted, we can remove that from the bowl. And place this to one side. For the next part, we want to begin frying the meat sauce. So once again, we can add another half a tablespoon of oil 
and we want to add our red onions. The garlic. And give that a minute or so to fry. We now want to add our lamb mince. This is still previously frozen, it's still frozen. Now you have two options, you can use fresh lamb mince, I personally am using frozen just to avoid on any wastage as the lamb tends to keep much longer in the freezer. The cooking process will be a bit quicker if you use fresh so we just need to wait a little bit more time just for the frozen lamb mince to come up to cook. So now the mince is suitably browned we can add the herbs. We want to start with the oregano. the salt and pepper, the cinnamon, and the mint. We now want to add the tomatoes, if we can lower this into the pot as much as possible, it will avoid splatter. And give that a good stir. Leaving that approximately 30 seconds just to come up to temperature. We now want to add our white wine. So for the next part, we're going to be using our trivet and our steamer. And we want to simply add our sliced potatoes directly over the top. Making sure the lid is set to lock and not vent. We want to place the lid on top. Cancel saute mode. And begin manual mode. Now we want to select 12 minutes. Meanwhile we're just going to want a glass bowl so that we can add the meat sauce directly into that once it's cooked. Now for the next part we're going to be making the bechamel sauce or white sauce. We're going to want to select brown saute and begin to melt the butter. We also want to add the grind of pepper. And a small dash of salt. Meanwhile, we're going to make the white sauce. Now the butter suit to be melted, we want to make a roux using the flour. So we just want to add our flour. And give that a good stir just to combine. And now begin to add the milk. So we're going to want to add this a small quantity at a time. As this heats, the sauce will begin to combine. And develop a smooth consistency. We can now 
pour the white sauce into a jug. and give that a wash. So the Crock-Pot Express has now finished its countdown for the meat sauce. We can cancel or stop the pressure cooking and open the vent. If you wish to, you can simply place a towel over the steam vent. We can now remove the lid now the deep pressurizing is done. So as you can see, we have our cooked potatoes. We can remove our trivet. And place the potatoes directly on the trivet. Using heat proof gloves, we can pour the sauce. We now want to wash the pan, so we now have everything ready to begin layering. Firstly, we want to add the meat sauce. We now want to add our aubergines. Next, we want to add our potatoes. And finally, our white sauce. Now there are two options with the bay leaves. We can either remove them now or remove them at the end of the cooking process. So for the next part, we want to add 350 millilitres of water, approximately one and a half cups. For the next part, we just want to place our spring form using the silicon sling into the pressure cooker. Making sure the lid's set to locked and not vent, we want to place the lid on and use manual mode and cook for 10 minutes. Now the clock pot express turbo has come up to pressure, it's begun the 10 minute countdown. So the crock pot express is finished cooking, we can now cancel switch off and depressurize. We now just want to place the towel over the top of the steam vent. Now the pressure cooker is depressurized, we can remove the lid. Using our sling, we can simply lift this out. Place it directly into a Pyrex dish. We can lift this and 
place directly into the bowl, into the dish. So putting it in a glass Pyrex dish means that when you open this, it will spread out. It means that it will nicely layer in theory and it won't overflow the plates. So we just want to undo the clip and lift. So it's now time for the taste test. This is a perfect combination of comfort food, incredibly healthy, full of flavour. Hope you've enjoyed cooking the food as much as I've enjoyed cooking the food, and I hope you're enjoying eating the food as much as I'm enjoying the eating the food. Like and subscribe to receive the latest videos as and when they become available. Thanks again. See you in the next one.